those of you that are sitting on an adjustable rate mortgage, where the flip do you think it's going to adjust from here? Do you think they're going to start paying you? I mean, really. Why you would have an adjustable rate mortgage in the lowest interest rates in 100 years, or 50 years anyway, is beyond me. Those of you sitting on a balloon mortgage, are you waiting on it to pop? This is the time to refinance. We get lulled to sleep by these low interest rates that have been low for many, many years now. And I'm old. I've seen interest rates jump based on geopolitical events. I've seen interest rates jump based on a president doing something or not doing something when they should. And jump suddenly. I'm not predicting that. I don't know. I hope that doesn't happen. It would destabilize and slow down the growth in the economy. I, it would not be a good thing. I wouldn't like it. But if I were sitting on a mortgage right now personally, which thank God I'm not, and the rate was 4% or higher, or it was an adjustable rate, or it was a balloon rate, I would be refinancing it by the end of the week. Three freaking percent. Really? Seriously. I got my real estate license in 1978, September, three weeks after I turned 18 years old. A week after I got my license, mortgage interest rates in 1978 went from nine and three quarters to ten. The wailing and gnashing of teeth that mortgage interest rates were double digit. Oh, young couples will never be able to buy a house. Housing is the backbone of the economy. The economy is going to crash. 10% interest rates. Oh, my God. That's what happened. I remember distinctly. I was 18 years old. It was 40 years ago. That's what they sounded like. It proceeded to go from 10% on up to 18% for mortgage interest rates. Any of you old enough to remember Jimmy Carter being the president? Yep. That was a joyful time. Not. 17.5% Fannie Mae fixed rate 30-year mortgages. By the way, if you didn't know, in those days there were no adjustable rate mortgages. In those days there were fixed rate mortgages. 98% of the loans were fixed rate 30-year mortgages. Period. Some people took out 15s. FHA loans in those days were fully assumable, meaning that you didn't have to qualify to assume the loan. If you wanted to just hand your FHA loan to somebody, they could just come in and start taking over the payments, and you just walked away. You didn't have to qualify. So you, didn't, you, know, you could have a bankruptcy, and the next day you could buy a house on, and assume someone else's FHA loan back in those days. That's all gone now. Adjustable rates came about because mortgage – of a thing called disintermediation, where the savings and loans were put were, were borrowing money from the public, meaning their savings accounts rates were 12%, but they had a lot of mortgages on the books that were only paying 7%. They don't like to pay out 12% and receive 7 in the banking world. They like it to be the other way around. They like to pay out 7 or 4 or 2 or 1 and receive from you much more than that. When it's upside down, it's called disintermediation. The banking world got upside down. That's one of the reasons the SNLs no longer exist, was that crashed to them. That's why they came up with adjustable rate mortgages, so that the next time mortgage interest rates went up, they wouldn't get caught. The, mortgage, the adjustable rate mortgage was designed for the bank, not for you, darling. It was to protect them from disintermediation. That's why they came up with it. Just in case you're wondering a history on this stuff. So this is how I remember things. It went from 18. By the time I got married and was selling real estate in my early 20s, rates had come back down. We, could, we had fixed rates for 14, and we had these new adjustable rate mortgages for 11 and a half. This is who you're listening to. I sold real estate in that world. And then everybody's sitting around going, I don't know if I read any refinance at 3% interest. You're kidding me. 3%? I mean, that's not even the sweat off of 14%. Seriously. So I'm not making fun of our last caller. I'm just saying a bunch of you need to get on the phone to Churchill Mortgage like, what are you waiting on? And get your refinance done. Because over the scope of time, these interest rates 
have been ridiculously low for a long time. And about the only thing we know about life is it's going to change. So you should protect yourself by getting the lowest possible interest rate locked in until you get your home paid off. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.